Hey guys, this is Steve with the Floppy Emu Disk Emulator. The Floppy Emu works on the Apple II, the Macintosh, and the Lisa, and it can emulate a hard disk drive or a five and quarter inch floppy drive or a three and a half inch floppy drive. Uh, in this video, I'll just be showing the Apple II features. The emulator is a little circuit board that I originally designed myself. And um, since then, it's kind of taken on a life of its own. I've been selling them to other people who are fans of uh, vintage Apple computers. The basic emu is a circuit board with LCD attached, and um, it's pretty robust. Uh, but a lot of people also like to buy the um, clear acrylic case to protect the emu. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have one of those to show you right now, but um, it's a transparent laser etched case, so it looks pretty cool. Um, and you can also purchase other accessories like an SD card that is preloaded with a bunch of software. So, there are two versions of the Emu. There's a version that's got a DB19 connector built in, just soldered right onto the board there. And that plugs into, here's an Apple IIc, if you can see that. It just plugs straight in to the back of your Apple II and just kind of hangs there like a dongle. Or, what most people prefer is they get the emu board that has a 3 foot extension cable with a connector on the end that does the same thing and plugs into the same spot. The nice thing about this extension cable is that the adapter on the end actually comes apart and then it just turns into a standard 20 pin ribbon cable that you can actually connect to um, a disc 2 disc controller card in your like Apple IIe or Apple II Plus. Uh, it just connects the exact same way that a standard five and a quarter inch drive would. All your disk images are stored as plain files on a regular SD memory card, so it makes it really easy to work with them. Uh, and then the SD card just fits into the slot on the Flappy Emu. Okay, I've got the SD card inserted there. So let's go ahead and connect this thing up to my Apple IIc and fire it up. So this just plugs into the back, if I can get that on the video. And go ahead and turn this thing on. And it boots up. So that was booting from the uh, smart port virtual hard drive and you can see hopefully on the emu if I can get it to focus uh, it's got a backlit LCD there and the LCD shows the ProDOS name of uh, the smart port, smart port hard disks that are being emulated and their size you can have up to four smart port hard disks being emulated at the same time right now I've just got one there Okay, let's boot up an Apple II GS with the smart port emulated hard drive. Uh, same deal, it just plugs in to the back of the II GS in the regular uh, disc port there. So I've got GSOS 6.0.1 booting up. This takes a little while, a little longer to boot up than the, the 2C did. Um, so let's see, while that's booting up. Uh, earlier I mentioned the, the clear acrylic case for the Floppy Emu. That comes in a little uh, package like this. It's like a 3D jigsaw puzzle you get to put together. You'll love it. No, it's not so bad. Um, and uh, a little bit about the, the Floppy Emu hardware itself. 
Um, it's got a AVR microprocessor on there that does most of the emulation work. Um, that's pretty similar to some of the other disk emulators that you've probably seen. But the cool thing is that it also has a CPLD on there, um, which is sort of like the, the little brother of an FPGA, if you've ever heard of that. Uh, it's a bit of reconfigurable logic that can be changed through firmware, and that's what allows the floppy emu to emulate so many different kinds of disk drives so easily, and what allows it to work on the Mac, and on the Apple II, and on the Lisa. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So on this particular 2GS, um, let's see if you, I can show this. So I've got two disk images set up. Um, I've got a 32 megabyte um, ProDOS volume that I just booted from. That's this new dot disk. Uh, and then I have a HFS disk mounted as the second smart port volume, uh, which is actually a 512 megabyte disk. So if you can see that, it says um, I've got 509, 509 megs free. Okay, to change to a different emulation mode, I just hit the reset button here. And then while the info screen is up, I hit select. And now you can see I've got a menu here that lets me choose between smart port disk, five and a quarter inch floppy, or three and a half inch floppy. So let's go ahead and switch to three and a half inch floppy emulation mode. To do three and a half inch disk emulation on an Apple II, in most cases, you will need the Floppy Emu Universal Adapter, which is a new product I have that should be out in about two more weeks. Um, and it's going to look pretty much like this adapter, except a little larger and with some extra electronics on there. Um, but since I don't have that yet, what we'll do for this video is we're going to use this special purple board that I've uh, modded so that it doesn't need the adapter. Uh, but uh, for you buying the regular emu, you'll need to get that adapter if you want to do three and a half inch disk emulation on your Apple II. Okay, I've got my Apple II GS booted up from an internal hard drive, and I've got the this special floppy emu here connected and configured as a three and a half inch drive. Um, so you can see you get a menu listing of the disk images that are on the SD card. Uh, if you can see that, maybe. Um, so let's go ahead and um, I'll just select some random tools disk image. Then when I hit select, you will see that floppy disk suddenly just pops up on the screen. And there it is. Alright, next I want to show off the five and a quarter inch disk emulation on my good old Apple IIe here. So uh, let's go ahead and switch emulation modes. So I'm going to choose five and a quarter inch floppy. Here's a glamour shot of my Apple IIe with the floppy emu connected. And I've got the board connected with the extension cable uh, and it's just plugged into the 19 pin disk port on my uh, Apple 5.25 inch disk controller card. It's just the standard Apple disk controller card. Um, and if you've got one of the older disk 2 controller cards instead that take a, uh, just a 20 pin ribbon cable, that's no problem. You can just detach uh, this ribbon cable here, separates from the adapter, and you can just connect that straight to a disk 2 controller card. Okay, I've got the Apple II booted up and it's just sitting here doing nothing because uh, there are no disks connected. So let's take a look at the Floppy Emu screen if we can. And of course we want to play Oregon Trail. So let's select that disk image. And there it comes. While it's running in floppy emulation mode, uh, there's some info shown on the screen. The name of the disk image file, the ProDOS name of the disk uh, if it applies, or else just information about the disk image file. Uh, it also shows you what track the 
uh, virtual drive is on and what the uh, drive activity is. The SD card that's used with the floppy emu stores the disk images as just regular disk image files. So I can go ahead and put this SD card straight into my computer. Then I can view all the disk images that are stored on that SD card, copy new ones on there or whatever I need to do. And I can also go ahead and open up the disk images with tools like Cider Press. So, super easy to work with the disk images on this thing. Okay, I think that's about all, and hopefully that answers your questions about using the Floppy Emu on the Apple II. Uh, if anything doesn't make sense or you have other questions not answered here, uh, just leave a note in the comments or uh, send me an email. Thanks for watching.